Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Maine Real Estate and Development Association's Fall Conference, the Chamberlain Model, Back to the Future. My name is Josh Fifield. I'm a senior account executive at Clark Insurance, and I'm Marita's president. We appreciate you being here with us today virtually. We are living in uncertain times right now, and repairing our economy in the middle of a pandemic is a daunting task. As we look ahead, it is also helpful to look to the past. This year, we celebrate Maine's bicentennial and we have a rich history to explore. In planning this event, Marita's conference committee found a speech given by Joshua Chamberlain in 1876 that laid out his economic vision for the state of Maine. Inspired by Chamberlain's words, the conference committee created our program for today. We hope you find it to be interesting, informative, and thought-provoking. As always, please join the conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Marita2020, on Twitter or tag us on Facebook. Also, you can submit questions for the presenters by using the group chat tool embedded in your streaming window. Your questions will be shared with the presenters and their answers will be published in our post-conference email. During the panel discussion, questions may be submitted through the same group chat tool and submitted questions will be fielded by the moderator. I would like to take a moment to thank Shannon Richards, Craig Young, and Shelley Clark, and all the members of Marita's conference committee who have worked so hard in putting together this morning's event. Thank you. Also, I'd like to extend an extra special thank you to our event sponsors. AAA Energy Service Company, BCM Environmental and Land Law, CHA, Criterium Engineers, State 23 Media, Maine Biz, People's United Bank, Pierce Atwood, CV and Mahar Engineers. Thank you. We couldn't have done this without you. Today's program has been approved for three real estate continuing education credits for brokers and attorneys. Attendees are required to confirm their virtual attendance by completing an exam based on the material presented. The exam is embedded on the streaming page below the video and chat window. You'll be able to fill it out right on the stream page as you're watching or at the end of the program. Simply scroll down to the bottom of the page to find the exam questions. Please note that you cannot be in full screen mode while completing the exam. If you happen to go into full screen, you can hit escape to go back to the normal view where you'll be able to see the exam questions. Click submit once and you have completed the exam. You must receive a score of 85% in order to receive your credits. Failure to complete and submit the exam will result in forfeiture of credits. There are no exceptions and certificates of completion will be mailed. I am also required by the Maine Real Estate Commission to read you this statement. This program has been approved by the director of the Real Estate Commission for three clock hours towards fulfillment of the educational requirements for activation or renewal of a real estate license. The commission is interested in the quality and delivery of educational programs which are offered to licenses and therefore welcomes and encourages comments regarding program subject matter and quality and delivery of the program. We will provide a few reminders of those of you that are working on your continuing education credits. Again, you'll need to complete the exam questions and submit it today. Before we dive in, I would like to take some time to thank all Marita members for being a part of the important conversations and for finding value in what we do. We are celebrating our 35th anniversary this year and are grateful to have such engaged and thoughtful members. Marita is an organization of commercial real estate owners, developers, and related service providers whose mission it is to promote an environment for responsible development and ownership of real estate throughout the state of Maine. 
We accomplish our mission through legislative advocacy, regulatory oversight, sponsorship of programs and conferences like today, and by serving as a unified and proactive representative for real estate and economic development interests. Merida has developed into a widely respected and influential voice in Augusta on real estate issues, and our objective is the same as it was when Merida was formed 35 years ago. Our public policy committee has continued their legislative efforts throughout the pandemic. And with this being an election year, there are several referenda on the ballot for the city of Portland. Questions C, D, and E that will set back the city's progress in important issues like fair wages, affordable housing, and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. All three of these ballot measures were written without public input by a special interest group looking to advance their agenda. We urge our Portland-based Merida members to vote no on questions C, D, and E this November. You can learn more at www.buildingabetterportland.com. Thanks to Paul Peck of Drummond and & Drummond and Tiffany Dembrowski of Chicago Commonwealth and Fidelity Title, who head up our pol public policy committee, and to Andrea Chinchette Maker and her team at Pierce Atwood, our legislative council, and to the members of our committee. I'd also like to specifically thank Merida members who have stepped up to the table in big ways this year at the cornerstone and sustainer levels to enable conversations like the one that is about to unfold this morning. At cornerstone level, we have TD Bank, the Bulos Company, J.B. Brown and, and Sons. And as sustainers, AAA Energy Service Company, Androscoggin Bank, Baker Newman Noyes, Bangor Savings Bank, Bank of New Hampshire, Bar Harbor Bank and Trust, Barry Dunn, Camden National Bank, Seaport Credit Union, Drummond Woodson, East Brown Cow, Epstein Commercial Real Estate, Gorham Savings Bank, Machias Savings Bank, Malone Commercial Brokers, Muscama Bank, NBT Bank, Norway Savings Bank, People's United Bank, Pierce Atwood, Saco and Bitterford Savings, and St. Germain. Thank you.